Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be seasoning the cooktop on my new Blackstone 28 inch flat top griddle. Now this thing I got for Christmas time around Black Friday at Walmart, it went on sale for about 150 bucks. So my wife picked it up for me because I've been wanting a griddle for a long time now, but didn't want to spend two to $300 on a griddle. But this thing is definitely a good value for $150. Now I do have a smaller portable one for camping and stuff. I have seasoned it before, but I did that a little bit differently. I did that in the oven, baked it a few times in the oven with the oil because the top fit nicely in there. I think it was like a 17 inch or something, but this one's a little too big for that. So we're gonna be seasoning it here today um, with some olive oil. Now there's a few different types of oil you guys can use. You don't wanna use bacon fat. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about this, but they say flaxseed oil is good to use. I didn't have any of that, but I do have extra virgin olive oil. And they say, if you use olive oil, make sure you use an extra virgin type I don't know why that is, but I'm gonna go ahead, season this up and tell you guys and show you a little bit about this griddle today. Now this griddle is, like I said, it's the Blackstone Pro Series 28 inch model. And what's nice about this one being that it was only $150, it has the uh, two trays on the side, which it only comes with uh, one tray normally with a 28 inch version and two burners. This one has three burners on it, which is nice for your separate cooking zones. And it also has this included lid on top that you can put down before you cover it up which keeps your cover off your top and everything which is a nice feature a lot of times this cover on top is uh, something that you have to buy after the fact for like 50 to 80 bucks something like that I think so for that to come with it for hundred and fifty dollars is an awesome deal in my opinion now like I said it was exclusive to Walmart around Black Friday I don't know if you could still get this thing or if they have any more available at your Walmarts but very nice griddle for $150. Now, one thing I don't know guys is I'm not sure if I could cook with this thing down, like say I was cooking something, wanted the heat to stay in, if I could lower this while I was cooking, or if that was just to protect it while you cover it or not. Um, I have no idea. So if you guys know, if you could use this while you're cooking, please comment down below and let me know or uh, let me know if it's like I said if it's just for storing that was one thing that kind of concerned me a little bit And I have no idea it wasn't anywhere in the manual saying that you couldn't use it when you were cooking uh, But like I said, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how I season it I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse to show you guys the difference in color that it changes But first I'm gonna go ahead and take this top off with these two bolts that way I can get around uh, The edges and the outside very easily with that top removed all right guys, now the first step in me seasoning this griddle is going to be taking warm soapy water and wiping the whole griddle down. Now this is the only time that you'll ever clean your griddle with soapy water. You will never use soapy water again once you season it. But you do wanna clean it down really good. Wipe it down really good with a warm soapy water. All right, guys, so once you get the grill wiped down with a warm soapy water, you want to go ahead and light each burner and put that on high. Then you want to give it about 15 minutes to preheat and get really hot. All right, guys, so now we're about seven minutes in, and you can see how in the center here it's starting to turn a little bit darker, a little bit brownish. So uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit while it's finishing up the first heat cycle here. So now this thing, it it's, comes with a magnetic strip right here to hold utensils. It also comes with hooks down both sides to hold some utensils on that side as well as this one. It comes with a paper towel holder. And like I said, three burners. Now these burners are supposed to be stainless steel in the Pro Series. That's what it said on the Walmart website. I didn't find anything in the manual on the box that said that, but it did say that on the site, so I'm hoping they're stainless. Roll around nice heavy duty casters and one tray underneath. All right guys, it's been about 15 minutes and the temperature here is about 480 to 500 degrees. Now we're gonna go ahead, get a little bit of the olive oil and season it up. Now it calls for in the manual about two to three tablespoons for this 28 inch model per seasoning. And it recommends doing this up to five times in a row to get a good seasoning on your griddle. Now this is probably one of the most important parts about using this griddle is the pre-seasoning of it 
before you even use it. The reason why they say you don't want to use bacon to season your griddle is because it has some kind of salts and stuff in it, which could cause this to rust over time if you don't use it all the time. I'm going to use a rag. You can use a folded up paper towel, but I'm going to go ahead and use a rag and little grabbers here so that I don't get burnt. And you don't want to put a really heavy coating on. You don't want it too heavy. You just want a light coat on each seasoning here. If you get too much or too thick on, it could puddle up and cause it to bubble up and chip away later on. And once you get it coated really well, go ahead and get the back side. Once you get it coated really well, you want to go ahead and let it bake off until it quits smoking in about, probably about another 15 minutes or so. And then just keep doing this, repeating this about five times. You could do it less, but the more you do it, probably the better. Hey guys, so another thing I bought on Amazon that you guys might be interested in is this Ketter Outdoor, basically like a prep station table. It has a stainless steel top. I'm gonna go ahead and put that together here today and probably do a video on that. So if you guys wanna see a video on that and what that looks like, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I get that video up and posted. And one other thing I wanted to tell you guys, if you were looking for a cover for this griddle if you do have this griddle a uh, 58 inch standard grill cover does work pretty good as far as the width goes because they do not make a griddle cover for this griddle yet all right guys so it hasn't been quite 15 minutes it's only been about eight and it looks like it cooked it off pretty good and it's getting pretty dry so i'm going to go ahead and put another layer of olive oil on and rub it in real good just like the last one Alright guys, so I just put the third coating on. It has been about 35 minutes since I lit the burners. You can see it's turning a nice shade of dark brown slash black here. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more light coating on for the fourth coat and then we'll have one, at least one more after that. Well the kids are having a good time in the backyard throwing some football while I'm out here seasoning the griddle up. They can't believe he could throw that far. <laughs> Does have a good arm. Now the top is pretty much close to about 600 degrees in the center and closer to 550, 490 on that end. So I think there's a few different uh, heating zones here. I noticed there was a plate on the bottom on this uh, third of it. So maybe this, ha this third heats hotter than the rest of it. Uh, not quite sure until I start using it. I've been noticing since my rag's been getting pretty saturated that I need less and less oil each time because there's already a good bit of oil soaked into the rag. Go ahead, get that coat on and uh, see you guys in, in a few minutes. All right guys, so I just put my fifth and final coat on. You can see it has really has a nice dark brown on the edges, black on the inside there where it's getting hot. Now this third has been staying about 600, 600 degrees. I'm about an hour and six minutes into it from the time I lit the burners. The middle has been about 400 or 580 degrees and the edge over here has been about 500 degrees. So there's three different heating zones there on high, probably because that plate that's in the bottom of the griddle on this side, I guess that'll be good for searing your meats. All right, everyone. So here is the time lapse, basically from start to finish. You can see I took the hood off and cleaned it, preheating it right now on high and letting it get up to temperature. And then you're gonna see how it's starting to turn brown now on top, how it's heating up, and then I'm getting ready to go ahead and put my first coat on. Heat temping it there with the gun. There's my first coat, and you could see as it dries, it turned the surface a little bit dark brown, but the whole surface is not quite black yet. There's the second layer, and you could see how it's a little bit more black now. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a third coat on right there. And you can see how pretty much the whole top is pretty even now, uh, except for the very front edge and the front corners. There's the fourth coating, and it's a little bit darker. And then you can see how I put one final fifth coat right, guys, on. guys, I just got done seasoning the Blackstone griddle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully found it useful. If so, please click that subscribe button and that bell so you guys get notified of the next video I post. Now, my channel isn't based on specifically one thing. I do a lot of different things, e-bike videos, tech tutorials, tips, tricks, fixing a lot of different things. Please think about subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.